Hi, and welcome to episode 25. Episode 25. Of Worth the Wait, and we have a very special episode for you right now. Wally, do you know why that is? Uh, we're, we've been gone a while? Yeah, it, this is a, uh, little return, so I can't frickin' wait. Yeah, well, it was the holidays, taking a break, but now we're back yeah. at it. And we're five pounds heavier. We're five pounds heavier, and we have a whole lot of indie games to start lauding again. Yay! So let's do it! Alright, my first pick this week is not a game that I want to show everybody because it needs the help, but it's a game that I want to show people because if they haven't seen it, they need to hop on board. This is Shadowrun in Hong Kong. Big fan. Yep, big fan. And as some of you may know, um, Shadowrun was kind of revived through Kickstarter a couple of years ago, and now they're coming back with a whole new standalone game that's going to be like 12 hours of play. And it's pretty hyped. I'm hyped. Are you hyped? I'm hyped. I'm I hyped. loved uh, the director's cut of the old one that came out recently, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and this, this one is going to be very in the same vein as that director's cut where... It's super heavy on, like, story and the characters and the motivations behind the characters. Yeah, it's it's gonna be pretty great. It's, like, and it's awesome in this, like, new, magically awoken steampunk Hong Kong. Yeah, Hong Kong's and, a great setting for this. Yeah, in t the year 2050. Ooh. Cool. Uh, I'm getting Gibson vibes, cyberpunk vibes off of this already. Yeah. Cool. Oh, and check it out, and uh, throw your support behind it, and hopefully we'll have another uh, Shadowrun in the bag. And who doesn't want that? My first pick this week is from Imagos, uh, Star Mazer, which uh, is a game right in the wheelhouse of where I'm getting a lot of inspiration from recently in terms of indie titles. Uh, Genre-breaking, basically. Uh, it, it's got a lot of shooter inspirations, as you can tell, so, uh, 2D side-scrolling space shooter but it also has rpg elements uh some point and click adventure elements uh god it's all over the place i mean look at it uh it melds so many different things from my youth together in one package that i could not consider it and they're really throwing it at my kind of demo i think the uh, aesthetics of this remind me so much of the animes like um space dandy and cowboy bebop yeah, it, it, it's that exactly it, that. I mean, look it at that. It seems like that that studio that makes those shows is making this video game. Yeah, I, I was totally getting the Bebop vibe off of some of the art. But yeah, like I said, it defies genre. Uh, I highly recommend you look at it. It's even on uh, getting some serious press from the media, too. And they're quite a ways from their goal, but they just got started. So check them out. Uh, Star Mazer. My gold medal pick this week is Igneos, the last phoenix from Bear in Mind Games. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, as Wally will tell you, we fought over who got to talk about this game, and I won. Yeah, yeah, I really wanted this one bad. I mean, look at it. Uh, again, just look at it. It's unclassifiable. Uh, I love the exploration component, the flight component, the mythological component. I mean, it ticks so many boxes. Yeah, it really reminds me of the games that that game company puts out who made Journey and Flower, where it is like this really beautiful exploration experience, but where Igneos is taking a turn is that they're going to have some combat in this as well. Yeah, aerial combat. And I remember you also mentioning that, you know, it's almost unfortunate that they have to listen to our stupid voices because the yeah. music composition is amazing as well. Maybe we can we can fill in what it actually sounds like. Actually, no, hold on, we can. Uh, uh, no, let's do. <laughs> or we could do this, and I offer a moment of three count silence, and I could interpose the music from the video in. There we go. Yeah, that's exactly what I said. Oh, I, I forgot. Were you singing? I thought that was the game music. No, that was... <laughs> Go to your pick. Ah. Uh, 
from the makers of badass studio name and logo Dead Mage comes. Hell Chil- yeah. <laughs> it looks so good. It looks uh, Children of Morta, which, uh, man, I am getting into the retro. What is wrong with me? But I mean, where's the, the way to back, baby? <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, I, I'm loving the kind of homage to old stuff with also new shadowing and coloring put in. I love how people are using new technology. That's so beautiful. I mean, look at it. It's gorgeous. The art design. But uh, it's a roguelike too, by the way, so I know it's really popular right now, but it's about a family of guardians that are trying to save the world by getting to the center of a mountain that's been tainted by an unknown evil. And uh, they work together, they have their own traits and abilities, and uh, like, I, like I said, it's a roguelike dungeon crawler type, and it just looks really cool. And I love the dynamic they're putting into it. Don't you think that a, another Game of Thrones game would look gorgeous in this style? Absolutely. I, I think that sometimes wow. massive IPs tend to get caught up in massive budgets and we get a massive mess. Uh, something like this would would be amazing for Game of Thrones. Yeah, man. Children of Marta, this looks great. Yeah, uh, go check it out. I think it really deserves some serious attention, especially in a rapidly crowded room. Wow, I could not tell you how happy I am to be back here with Wally doing Worth the Wait Again. I really missed this. I missed it too. I missed it. And if you guys missed it or if you want to see more, check us out at youtube.com slash justokgamers for previous episodes. All that, that wouldn't make sense because those Kickstarters are over now. Well, or, it's, it's worth uh, it's good to look back at everything though. Yeah, it's good to look back at our pretty faces. Or just come to JustOKGamers.com where you can find some really awesome things like, I don't know, a League of Legends podcast, for instance. Yes, and Kate was our special co-host last week. Mm -hmm. And find us at Facebook.com slash JustOKGamers and hit us up on Twitter at JustOKCaters and JustOKWally. And for any indie devs out there who might be going to PAX East in Boston, the podcast crew will be out there in force including me so if you want some special attention for your game i'd be more than happy to check it out and shake your hand drink some beers whatever you cannot talk about indie games without a beer in your hand you can't not really that's it all right bye bye